on Express here with the Fara. I hear people, there's one. I want to say there was more than one of them over there, but the far was one of my more used weapons actually here. DLC weapons, let me specify. Oh, that's a teammate. He didn't have a name for a minute. Let me keep, keep it specific. This was one of my more used DLC weapons in the game's primary life cycle. It is very versatile. It has that fast fire rate, pretty decent mobility, I would say. Making it a very viable, aggressive option, but also having the AR statistics similar to the Groza, but I would say a little different. A little different in the sense. This one's probably a better ranged weapon than the Groza is. The Groza is definitely a little more aggressive, I would say. So last time I played Express, this was an absolute camp show, but this one's not feeling the same way. It feels like people are moving. I hear one. I just don't know where he is. It sounds like he's right on top of me. There he is. There's another one there. I think they're down on the street, actually. So I'm going to peek out right here. I have a war machine. I just don't know if I want to use it. Yeah, maybe I do. It's kind of a quiet game, but it doesn't feel campy. You hear how quiet it is? It's mildly concerning, actually, with how quiet it is. Well, that's why. Found them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. I'm already on a 17. Dude, it's 22 to 4. That's kind of nuts. Getting a whole lot of kills with the war machine. All right, let's push up here. I see one up top. Oh, he saw me. I'm on a 27 here, hold on. All right, I'm gonna use this for a second. All right, they're all in middle there. I want a new, I want a new. Come here, old dog. So he just, somebody just killed my teammate right here. And bam, there's our nuke. There's another guy below us. So we were definitely, I mean, positives. We were able to lock in the nuke here. We got a 32 KD and a lot of time. I think I might just go with the nuke. That'll, that should lock us in another six kills here, theoretically. Yeah, they do have six people on the other team. And we can keep our progress going forward here. We're at 39 and two. And I did lock in another war machine. Not something I'm going to hit. I want to get more gun kills because I used that war machine so much. I'll use it towards the end of the game, I suppose. All right, we need to rotate. They're all right there. I'm going to hit this route all the way around. 
Nobody's here. They're going up top right there. But I know they were all right here. There's one. Teammates are dying over there. There's one. All right, they destroyed my field mic, so I know where they're at now. They're going to be over here. I can't even, I can't get this guy. I'm shooting right through him. Harp. Guy below me. Huh? Oh, he's in the, in the plane. Okay. Where's this RC car? Gonna avoid that. We're at 4092. Okay. I should be able to come up on their booty cheeks here. That's a four piece. Freaks are doing a lot of work for me in this game, surprisingly enough. Yeah, I mean, these streaks are doing so much. All right. Teammate dropped a sentry gun right here. I hear one. I think he's in the train. If he's not on the train, he's on... I don't know. Hmm. I did end up blocking in 60. Somebody just killed teammates right here. That was a bad fight on my end. That's the first bad fight I've really taken all game. TTV down. Bring that butt cheeks here, Blake. He's right there. 66. One of my better games. I like it. So that was my first game on in about a week. And I definitely didn't anticipate getting 66 kills. So I imagine the rest of my games are going to be pretty butt because skill-based matchmaking. But we'll just have to wait and see. Let's get through my attachments here. You guys can see what I'm working with. The Gru Suppressor to keep us off the mini-map. As always, you don't have to necessarily run this one. It just gives you recoil control and makes it you don't have a dot on the mini-map. If you want more recoil control, the Spetsnaz Compensator is a good option. For the barrel, I am going with the Liberator for the bullet velocity increase. This weapon has a good damage range at 43 meters, and by upping the bullet velocity by 100%, it's now more viable long-range options. Your bullets will more or less be hit-scan. Heading down here to a magazine, I used the tape mags. You could go with the 40-round mag. You could go with even the 50-round mag. At the end of the day, another preference style of attachment. For our handle, we got the Gru Elastograph to increase that aim down sight speed. And then our final attachment is going to be the tactical stock. Honestly, I ran this simply due to the appearance of it. I thought it looked pretty cool with this blueprint. Uh, KGB skeletal stock is probably what I would normally run, but for the gameplay you just watched, I was going with the tactical stock. So here's gonna be all your attachments on the screen if you guys wanted to copy that one down. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.